Number 13. For a titration to be effective, the reaction must be rapid, and the yield of the reaction must essentially be 100%. Is the Kc greater than 1? Would it be less than 1 or roughly around 1 for a titration reaction? Good question. So just for context here, let's just put up a titration reaction. We've learned about titration reactions in, I believe, chapter four of the chemistry, a second edition book. So if you want to check out the chapter four playlist towards the end, we talk a lot about titration reactions. But remember, titration is just when you have an acid and a base mixed together, right? So let's just say that I have HCl, that's the acid, AG, AQ, we'll say. And we have a base, so I have a strong acid, hydrochloric acid, mixing it with a strong base. These are on my list of six. And I will produce out the salt, which is NaCl, and that's also aqueous, and then we have the water, right? H2O. Okay. So they're saying, in order for a titration to work or be effective, the reaction must be super quick, must be rapid, and the yield must be essentially 100%. The yield means what you produce. In this case, in a titration reaction, you produce the yield, right? The yield is the products. They're saying that it has to be essentially 100%. So that means that basically, if you have 100% of your products, how much of your reactants are you going to have left? Yeah, roughly 0%. That's what a titration is, and that's how it has to be effective. You, re you react a strong acid with a strong base, or any acid with any base, and it has to be rapid, which means that this conversion has to be super quick, and the yield, your products, will be essentially 100%. And this is at equilibrium, right? At equilibrium, you're going to basically have all products and no reactants. So now... If I come down here, if I am favoring the product side, in this case, I am way favoring the product side. I want almost 100%. That means that the Kc for this equation, the equilibrium constant, that's Kc, has to be greater than 1. And that's what it is. So they're asking for, for a titration reaction, would it be greater than 1, less than 1, or equal to 1? The Kc would definitely be greater than 1. And for these types of equations, especially titration of strong acid with strong base, you're going to see high numbers, like 1 times 10 to the, I don't know, 10th, like a really, really, really high number. We're not messing around here, okay? So that's why some of these, these reactions are going to be so, you know, fast. So, yeah, all right? So hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, just gets the word back to me that I'm, you know, doing my job right. You could also like the video. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, that will help us out. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.